Hello and welcome to Sociology of Health and Healthcare. My name is Dr. Castellani and I will be your professor for this summer three five week online learning endeavor. Um, you have the syllabus and the course outline. You can go and print those and take a look at those um, to get a sense of what the course is about. What I want to do is just highlight some important points uh, quickly in a few minutes here. Um, attendance is an issue. Um, attendance in an online uh, learning course is defined as participation. In other words, you're going on weekly and daily and participating in the various discussions, if there's a blog, if there's some type of posting, some type of work you're supposed to be doing where you're participating with other students, the expectation is that you will be doing that. Um, I reserve the right to use that as an opportunity for extra credit, to boost um, grades for certain students, or to lower those grades for certain students. Um, cheating and plagiarism, um, you know, it's very difficult to control um, what students do in an online learning environment. I do my best to keep things fair and consistent. Um, if you are caught cheating, the appropriate actions will be taken. Organization of the course, this is probably the most important point. I have tried to make this course as easy as possible. I've organized everything into a series of folders. Um, all the website links in one folder, all of the discussions in one folder, um, as you'll see when the tests come, all the tests, reviews for the test, reviews after the test, all in one folder. And then what you're supposed to do every week will be in a folder, week one through week five. So, for example, this week you'll click on week one, you'll go into week one, and you'll see there's a to-do list. Click on the to-do list and print it. It can't get any easier than this. You just simply go in there and follow the to-do list and check things off as you're finishing them. This is the best way to stay organized. Students will say to me, I didn't know I was supposed to post this or I didn't know I was supposed to be involved in this or that discussion. The to-do list right there. Um, as far as communicating with me, the professor, uh, I have set up a communicate with the professor a discussion link in there. Um, unless it's a specific concern that you have, such as your grade or something you don't want to share with other students, all questions about the course go there. The reason I do that is um, most of the time, if you have a question, other students have it. If I um, do it the more traditional way, which is you email me, I get eight students emailing me the same question. This way, any questions about the course are put right there. All the other students can read and also respond with their own helpful um, comments or advice. It's been a very successful way um, to deal with the course. Um, grades are comprised of both the exams that will take place each week and the assignments. Um, it's important to understand this is a five-week course, so that means things will be moving quite quickly. You need to stay on top of the material and stay on top of what's going on in the course. Uh, you see that the course is, um, in terms of its division across the five weeks, is organized in the course outline. Make sure you're reading that and the chapters that are broken down for each of that. So again, I welcome you to the course. Um, and I think it's a, it's a fun course. It's a very doable course in five weeks. And... Um, and all I can say when it comes to online learning is hang in there. You can do it. You can succeed in this course. And you will actually learn something. And um, I'm looking forward to it. Take care.